Hi, this is AutoDirect and for today's video, I am going to show you how you can easily set up Apache's virtual host using a ZAMP within your Windows operating system. But before we start, just a quick note here. If you have questions in mind or something to say, please don't hesitate to type it down on the comment section below because I will be reviewing all the comments and I hope to help you. If you like this video or my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you'll be notified for new uploaded videos. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so if you haven't installed XAMPP application yet in your Windows machine, you can go directly to their website, ApacheFriends.org, right here. And then on the home page, uh, you'll find the downloadable XAMPP application for Windows, there's also for Linux and for Mac OS. Right, so go ahead and click on the ZAMP for Windows, then wait till the download is finished. And then from there, uh, you can start installing the ZAMP application. Right, so don't change anything. I mean, don't change the default settings during the installation. Right, just follow the instructions and then you're good to go. Alright, so I'll go ahead and click on the File Explorer, the Windows File Explorer here. Alright, so what I want to do here first is to uh, create our tests site directories so I'll go ahead and right click on this and then new folder and I'll name a folder here dev env and then I'll enter and then I'll enter to that folder and I'll create another folder here for uh, our first site I'll name this first uh, site.com and then and then um, inside this folder, I'll create another for another folder. I'll name this folder public underscore HTML. Under that folder, uh, or inside the folder, I'll create a new file. Uh, for now, I'll choose text. We will change that extension to HTML, and then I'll edit this file here with uh, notepad and then I'll just uh, encode a simple single HTML tag here h1 would do alright so I'll, I'll encode some text here and then I'll close and save and then I'll go back here to uh, dev env then I'll just copy this uh, first site.com folder or directory and I'll just paste it here and I'll uh, rename this one to second uh, site.com or I'll maybe change the uh, extension to org and then now inside this folder uh, I'll edit the index.html there and then I'll say Second site. This uh, should be org. Then I'll close that one, save. Then now we're uh, good with our site directories. So let's go ahead and click on the drive C there or locate the XAMPP installation folder. So go ahead and click on XAMPP folder, installation folder, and look for Apache folder. And then look for conf folder, then extra folder, and now uh, look for the httpd-vhost.conf uh, file right here. Double click on that, and then now right here, you can just uh, use the uh, uh, default sample here. And comment this one this lines here so I'll change this one to uh, uh, dev env and then uh, inside dev env we have first site.com then public underscore html all right so I'll copy this and paste it here 
on directory tag and then I'll change this to uh, first site.com alright so I'll copy this one copy and then paste and then I'll edit this to second site and then here as well and now I'll just copy this uh, path here to here and then I think we're good there so I'll just close and save that one and after that uh, let's go ahead and open the uh, Windows host file I'll open notepad first and then you should right click on that and then run as administrator alright and then you have to open uh, look for the Windows installation folder so click on that and then look for a system 32 folder and then look for drivers folder and then look for etc folder here and then change the uh, file type from text documents to all files right so now you can see the host file there so I'll go ahead and double click on this file and then in here I'll route our uh, new site to the local host uh, 127.0.0.1 and then first site Com. I'll copy this line and then I'll just change this to org right so now I can just I can just close this and save if your uh, zap is currently running you can just stop and start the Apache so in my case I have here my uh, zap running so all, all you have to do is stop this first and then start and then I can now try if the, the two sites we've set up is working just fine right so I'll go ahead and type first site.com so it's working just fine so as you can see this is what we've encoded in its index.html file inside uh, first site.com directory right so let's go ahead and try the second site.com or that org so it's working as well but it's not uh, the second site.com let's make sure if uh, we've edited the index.html file inside uh, second site.org alright let's try to check the uh, Apache Apache on if extra vhost right so here's the first side first side and then here's the second side second side this should be org right and this one should be org and this one should be org. Alright, so I'll go ahead and close that and save. We should stop and start the Apache again. And start. And then I'll refresh this one and this should be working just fine. Alright, so we've just set up um, Apache's vir virtual host uh, using XAM within Windows uh, OS. So I think we're good here and thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something new today.